What's up guys, it's Intense Investor here, coming at you again for another totally great video on my YouTube channel. Tonight I was just going to talk about how to update your pre-search node. On the last video I did on installing a pre-search node, I did not include how to install Docker, so I'm going to get into that on this one. And I do want to add seven more pre-search nodes to my total I did have 43 running now I'm gonna have 50 running so I'm only going to install one of them just to give you like a little how-to guide on how to do it so I think this is probably going to be one of the better videos you'll find on how to install the pre-search node also got a killer deal on the rat nerds VPS only a little over ten dollars a year for a VPS to run your pre-search node so check that out but uh, that's really uh, all I got on that as far as an intro on it. Let's just go ahead and get into the actual installation and we'll go from there. Thank you. The guys, before we actually do the node install, there's a couple things I want to go over with the pre-search project. They've had a couple announcements. Uh, the number of registered users continues to grow. I think they were at around 4 million registered users back in August. Now they're at 4.1 million. So in a couple months, that's like a hundred thousand uh, some odd user increase uh, from just a couple months ago. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, they've got uh, tons of keywords uh, staked on the platform now. From what I can tell, they're averaging between 500 to 1,000 additional keywords being staked on the search engine every week. I think they're up to around 14,750 keywords staked at the moment, which is a lot. I mean, that's pretty cool uh, to see that kind of progress. Uh, so just scrolling down here, uh, the price is uh, four, a little over four cents at the moment. The overall rank is 589. So when you scroll down, you can see they did have this 1 million advertising grant program that has also commenced. Uh, this was a month ago. So I'm really bullish uh, on the pre-search search engine. Uh, the utility is probably one of the best utilities you could have in a project because it's search engine. I mean, look at how much Google grew. Uh, DuckDuckGo, that's another good uh, privacy type search engine. Uh, lots of potential there uh, with that utility. So I really like, like that. Uh, you know it's really awesome but um so you do have to have 4,000 pre-search tokens to set up a node I prefer to get those tokens off of the KuCoin exchange right here uh, you can see they've had about 86,000 in volume so one of the first things I'm gonna do before I even uh, download putty uh, do any of that is I'm gonna go over to KuCoin and I am going to purchase some uh, pre-search tokens so i'll show you how to do that really quick so guys if you already have pre-search token in a wallet somewhere you can skip this step but for those of you who want to buy some pre-search tokens like i said kucoin is one of the preferred exchanges i use one of the ones i like the best as you can see here uh, get some pretty good fees uh, like 0.08% maker 0.08% taker fees those are really low fees compared to something like uh, coinbase which is the largest exchange in the US uh, another great thing about uh, KuCoin is uh, there's no KYC I've been using it since 2020 never had any problems with it so I keep using it. I mean, I've ran upwards of $80,000 through KuCoin Exchange with no issues whatsoever. So inside KuCoin, you got a main account and a trading account. Uh, I'm going to deposit it to the main account, but then you'll have to transfer it to the trading account. Then you're going to trade. Uh, I'm going to use USDT, which is a stable coin to buy the pre-search token. Uh, you're going to do that in your trading account in the trading window the dashboard Then we're going to transfer it back to the main account and withdraw it to our pre-search account. So let's go ahead and do that So let's do some quick math here on just how much money we are going to need to set up a pre-search node So it takes 4,000 tokens Let's calculate it 
and the price of each pre-search token is 0 0.04133 cents. So let's multiply that, 0 0.04133. That's $165, so I'll probably, uh, you know, send like about 175, 180 over to KuCoin, because there is like a withdrawal fee of like 100 pre, which, what would that be, like $4 or something like that, I think. Uh, yeah, so it's about $4 to withdraw your pre after you purchase it on KuCoin. So I'm going to go ahead and send that over and we'll make the purchase and then send it to our pre-search account. So there's a wallet in your pre-search account that we're actually going to uh, send that to. And if you haven't already set up a pre-search account, a KuCoin account, you need to go ahead and set those up. I do got links in the description for those. Uh, so you'll go to, when you transfer these tokens, you're going to go uh, to the from the blockchain and it tells you send your pre to this address. So you hit the copy and then you actually go back into KuCoin, um, you know, actually when you send it out and you'll have another place you can put that address that you're sending it to in your pre-search wallet. So, you know, you always send between different wallets. So the pre-search wallet, you have to send your pre that you bought to that wallet. So I hope that makes sense. And I'm going to show you here in just a second. So going up to my deposit history here on KuCoin, you'll see that I actually sent 1200 USDT. I decided to go ahead and set up seven more pre-search nodes because I got this awesome deal on the Ragnar's VPS. I can buy the VPS for $10 a piece. That's only about $70 for seven uh, VPSs for a year. So, I mean, that'll get us all the way into almost 2024. And by then, I'm thinking we're going to start to see an uptick, an uptrend. The bull market's going to return. Uh, and the cost or the uh, price per token of the pre will go up. So, you'll be earning more. Uh, per token. So that's a pretty good deal. I'm just going to set up seven more VPS. So I'm going to, have to buy about 28,000 uh, pre-search tokens to send to my wallet, right? And remember I told you guys a little while ago that those uh, amounts would show up in your main account. They actually went to my trading account that time because I had it checked to deposit to my trading account instead. But if they ever do go to your main account, you can always transfer those to your trading account. There is an option to do that. So now we're going to buy some pre-search token. So you want to type in pre. We're going to hit trade. There's an option for pre-USDT. Now you could use BTC also, uh, but you would do a similar thing like I just did. You would transfer that BTC to your KuCoin account. Then you would go in here and click, you know, the option to buy pre with BTC. That's what the the trading pair means. Uh, the right side, um, you know, you got the USDTC. I mean, sorry, USDT or BTC, and you're going to buy the pre with that amount. So I'm going to go in here. Enter my trading password. Um, I highly recommend you set up that trading password. It's an extra security feature in KuCoin that you have to put in. It's a six digit number. Uh, it'll ask you to put that in before you do any trading. I'm just gonna do a market trade. We're gonna do 100% uh, USDT and we're gonna buy some pre, right? So make sure you click the little market trade uh, link right there. If you got it on limit, um, limit orders are like future orders, you know, if the price goes up or down, but market order executes instantly. So that's what we're wanting to do here. Make sure you click 100% and uh, we'll see how much pre that will buy us. So let's try it. So I click buy. You see there was a buy order successfully placed. And the price of the pre is 0.041211 on KuCoin. So let's go out here. I can see right here it already says 28,000 pre. 
uh, in my KuCoin account. So I'm going to go back out. Just click the KuCoin up there at the top. We'll go back to trading account. So now we see the 28,000 uh, pre. It's worth 1170 dollars. So then we'll transfer that over to my main account. Hit confirm. You'll see success. Go to the main account. Give it just a second. And then we're going to want to withdraw this to that wallet address in your pre-search account, right? Because we got transferred off the exchange to the pre-search uh, wallet address shown here. And you can see where I've already made previous successful uh, transfers going all the way back to October 2021 last year. So hit copy on that. And this is an Ethereum type address, right? Go back to KuCoin. So we're going to withdraw. And we're going to hit put in that wallet address and like I said uh, it's four dollars it's a hundred pre-search tokens to withdraw yeah they get you like every way they can with the fees but you know overall it's still still pretty decent because you'll make that back pretty quick the nodes average or they were averaging about nine to ten dollars a month uh, on earnings so there's pro that's probably been cut in half right now if I had to guess you know it's probably four or five dollars a month uh 50 nodes 250 dollars a month i'll be making off of that it's enough to pay for the vps uh so you know that's really the main thing you once you buy the tokens that is what it is the price can go up or down that is the risk involved with it so here you're going to click all we're going to transfer all of them and we're going to hit withdraw then you're going to want to enter your security password, your code, your 2FA. So I'm going to go and do that. Once you do all that, um, enter all your security codes and verification codes. Uh, you're going to hit OK and then you'll get this withdrawal initiated. You just hit confirm. Uh, you go down here. You can see it's the same wallet I've withdrawn to all these times. Uh, it's in progress so we'll give it a second to actually show up in here and once it does show up you'll see it pop up so let's just give it a little bit there so guys something to take note of here is sometimes you'll see it completed like say for instance on KuCoin then when you go over to the actual uh, pre-search dashboard where your wallet is on pre-search uh, you won't see it there yet right so just give it some time i've noticed that in the past when i transferred coins to pre-search it takes just a little bit more time for it to show up so just give it a second and i'm sure it'll be there and speak of the devil there it is just popped up so just a little bit of a delay but not much and i now got twenty-eight thousand more pre-search tokens so go over here up to the right go down to uh, node stakes and you'll see it appear on your nodes dashboard that's nodes.presearch.com forward slash dashboard uh, and you can use that now to stake on a new node so you might be wondering like how do we make another node so the node is going to be created when we download putty we access the VPS that we're going to buy here in a little bit. We're going to buy it. I'm going to walk through that. Uh, so when we access it and we run the code through the VPS, that's when the node is going to be created. And then we're going to have to link it using our API key here. A lot of these nodes are linked to the VPS using API. The Gala nodes, they work the same way. If you watch my previous video on that, um, so, you know, I started to see a trend with how the nodes are set up, you know, installing the Docker on the Linux VPS. Uh, they use the uh, Ubuntu uh, version of Linux, the operating system. So, you know, for me, that's pretty straightforward now uh, doing that process. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to purchase the node that I was talking about on Rack Nerds. I also got links in the description. 
and I have also updated my website if you go to the deals and savings link you'll actually see um, there's a great Black Friday deal that's what I was just looking at but you probably got to buy it before Black Friday which is uh, what is that next Friday would be the 25th so $10 28 cents a year that's a 768 megabit uh, KVM Linux VPS single core processor uh, 10 gigabytes of RAID storage uh, it's a great deal on that you can even get the 1.5 gigabyte for uh, you know 1688 a year that's got 30 gigabytes of storage so very good deals on these I will leave the link in the description if you're interested really cheap to set up if you do it this way so I really recommend it versus Contabo Vulture VPS is <clears throat> I believe this to be a better deal Because even with those, you know, you might be paying nine ten dollars a month versus This one you can get for ten dollars for a year So not trying to shill it too hard, but it is a really great deal uh, If you go look around you see what I'm talking about So I'm gonna click on the link on my website. That's intenseinvestor.com forward slash deals and you sure see you should see the secure icon if you don't see that then something's going on so let's click on this first link it's going to take us over to rack nerds and it's already going to go ahead and put it in your cart so the thing to do with this if you want to buy um you know like more than one node and one thing to make sure you do is make sure this is uh Ubuntu 20.04 64-bit make sure you get that one and the location you know you can pick a location that's near the gateway VPS and to figure that out um, if you go to your nose dashboard and you go to network map you'll see where all the gateway nodes are whether it's Asia Europe North America the test net testnet is just testnet um, so uh, California's NA US 1 a lot of mines uh, connect to, to Ohio which is NA US 2 uh, North America US 2 uh, Germany is the Euro DE 1 and then Singapore's AS SG 1 I think I have some nodes that are in Los Angeles that are connecting to Singapore because it shows up like that when I look back at my uh, my nodes so you see the ones that are euro I got a lot on the euro so I probably got a lot of those like New York nodes that are connecting over on this side of the US it's kind of crazy actually like looks like most of them are on let me refresh this to make sure that's right all of them on the euro Germany uh, node which is crazy right when you look at that So yeah, right now it looks like most of mine might be pulling to Germany on the gateway node anyway. So, you know, there is the option there on Rag Nerds to pick the location of the node. So if you want to be East Coast, uh, New Jersey, New York, it seems like those, uh, you know, might connect to the Euro. You can pay another $6 if you want to be in Amsterdam, but... I don't think it matters I think ones in Atlanta would also probably connect to the Euro gateway uh, Chicago Dallas uh, those probably go to Ohio I would think a US gateway node so I am going to click uh, I'll probably just do the uh, New York those will be the ones that I do guys once you get that selected go ahead and hit continue and then you're going to go to the checkout where you can review it. Uh, the promo has already been applied. It's already there. So then you're going to hit checkout. Now when you hit checkout, you know, you got to fill in all your information. You can pay with PayPal, credit card, crypto. I've did mixed uh, payments, you know, like I've not mixed, but I've, I've usually either paid with crypto or PayPal is what I prefer to do. 
when you get through that hit complete order when you get through completing your order they're going to send you an email with the uh, password to get into the node uh, and the IP address so you need the IP address to put in the putty it's going to connect to the node and then you're going to enter root as the uh, username and then the password and then you'll be able to access your uh, your node right so that's pretty much the steps of that so go ahead purchase it you'll get the email from rack nerds and then you'll be able to set it up right so guys if you do want to buy one or set up more than one node there is a little bit of a trick to this if you click on the link it won't really let you pick a quantity but if you hit um let's just say i'm gonna pick new york and be sure you pick Ubuntu 20.04. I can't stress that enough because I've had people message me and they couldn't get it set up, but they didn't pick Ubuntu uh, 20.04. Uh, Even if you picked uh, 18, you can still upgrade it. So pick the 20. For the uh, 22, you need one gigabyte, but we don't need that yet. Pre-search can still run on the 20.04, so pick that. Everything else looks good, right? So then we're going to hit continue. So now I've doubled it, right? So I go back to the link again. Um, so I go back to the website, click the link again. You'll see it pull it up again. We're going to hit Ubuntu 20.04. I'm going to do some different. I'm going to do New Jersey on this one. I'm going to do like Atlanta, New Jersey, New York, Dallas. I might just do like a different one just to see like where they hook up at. This is also good uh, to kind of spread it around. That way you don't get like all your, uh, v your all your nodes on one VPS server in one location because it... If it's in New York, it's probably all in the same building. New Jersey, all in the same building. Atlanta, all their servers are probably in the same building, right? So we'll spread the love around a little bit. Hit continue. And see, like, every time you do that, it's going to add it to your uh, quantity that you're buying, right? So do that and uh that's a little trick so you don't have to buy like each one separate right so i'm gonna buy seven of these and i'm gonna show you how to set up at least one of them installing docker on it as well okay so i added all seven the vps i'm gonna hit checkout and complete the process so when you order you know you might get this mystery box um let's see what it says here so I won $5.68 back off my total. So I got even more savings, right? So that's pretty awesome. Uh, that just brings my total. They're going to take it off to $66 for seven VPS. So there is a bonus if you buy more than one VPS. Since they're so cheap, I highly recommend it. If you want to run, you know, say 10, 20 nodes, um, pretty good offering there. So I'm going to pay for this and then we'll get to uh, setting up the node using putty. So after you order, you know, it, it tells you to give them about 15 minutes to activate these VPS. Uh, if it's dedicated, which these are not, it's 24, 72 hours, but these are just VPS. So they activate them pretty quick. So now you need to go to your email. So go to your email and you'll see where they sent you the login information for each of your nodes. I mean, each of your VPSs, sorry. Uh, they'll have the IP address and also the root password. That's what you need to log in uh, using PuTTY to set up the node and run the commands. And they sent these to me like record time this time. I mean, I got this information probably two to three minutes after purchasing the VPSs so that is pretty awesome so let's go ahead and we are going to download putty putty is a client uh, that you run on windows to connect to linux right it connects to the linux vps and we'll use that to set up 
these nodes by running specific commands. It's only about maybe three commands that we have to run to actually set the node up. And uh, I'll show you how to do that here. So to download the PuTTY SSH uh, Telnet client, go to www.putty.org, click download PuTTY, and then we're going to go to the 64-bit uh, x86, click that. You'll see a file download in the bottom left corner. Click that and install PuTTY, all right? The next step is you're going to type PuTTY down in the search bar. You'll see it pop up. It's already installed. Click on it. If it ain't already running, you're going to need to run it. So now we need to go back to that email that Rack Nerds had sent you where you got your IP address and your password. So we're going to copy the IP address. We're going to paste it into PuTTY. Leave it on SSH. Hit open. Uh, click accept. Then we're going to type in root for the username. And the password we're going to copy from that email that Rack Nerd sent you with your uh, VPS login information. Now, when you copy and paste this uh, and you right click it, you will not see anything fill out here, right? But it is there. It has copied over. So hit enter. Okay, now you'll see it. Uh, you're at. You're in the VPS right now, right? You have access to VPS. So guys, as a preliminary check, I went ahead and installed uh, Docker and installed the 44th uh, pre-search node, the software on that VPS. Uh, I did get the green connected uh, plugin, which is good. That means everything's connected. Um, and I uh, staked the 4,000 pre tokens. That's the minimum amount. It's already earned a little pre, hadn't had any uh, requests yet. But that one's actually uh, hooked up to the U.S. Uh, I think that's the Ohio location for the uh, the Gateway node location. And uh, everything checked out good here. Uh, all the Docker install, all that was good. So I just wanted to do that for I go through with the next uh, node, couple of nodes, just to make sure everything installed okay on the VPS. All I had to do that is just a little trial run. Uh, especially when I'm making a video a tutorial on how how to install everything, you know So now we're gonna log in to my uh, second VPS that I bought using the uh, information Ragnard sent us So we'll put the IP address in hit accept We're gonna log in as root And then we're gonna copy the root password paste it and now we're in right so now we are going to install the docker software we got to have docker to install the pre-search nodes so let's go ahead and do that so there's a guide i like to use it's at phoenixnap.com to install docker on ubuntu 20.04 uh, it was published october 7th 2022 so let's go ahead and do that so pull up that command prompt that putty command prompt that we just had we're going to go down to the first command here this command actually removes any older docker installations or images so we're going to copy that paste it hit enter we'll go to step one update the package repository copy paste enter Then we're going to go to install prerequisite packages, copy, paste, enter. Some of these might take a little longer than others, but most of them don't take too long. Uh, step three is add GPG key, uh, verifies the authenticity of software package, so copy paste hit enter that was quick see and then we're going to add the docker repository copy paste enter that one's done and then we're going to specify the installation source 
and this is to make sure the Docker installation is from the Docker repository, not the Ubuntu repository. So we're going to copy, paste, enter. Next step we're going to run is we're going to install Docker. So copy, paste, and then we're going to hit enter. So Docker is installed, and we're going to run this last command to check the Docker status. So copy paste enter and as you can see right there it says active and running so should be good um i easily just exit this out close it out what putty again go back to the email copy the ip address re-enter it open hit root and then copy the root password paste it hit enter so docker is now installed on this vps because we just installed it so now we want to run the commands for actually installing the pre-search node itself and this is really easy it's really just this one long big command but you need to make sure your re your uh, registration code is actually copied into this yellow space right here and when I I'm gonna put this file this document file on my Google Drive and put the link in the description that way you can download it and just easily copy and paste right off of it and I also got it on my website where I did the initial uh, pre-search node install. These commands are on there as well. But you just got to remember to put your registration code, which is this uh, API key, node API key. You got to copy that. You got to make sure you copy it and you put it in this yellow part right here. So let's go ahead and copy that. This is the initial node setup code. We're going to copy it. Now we're going to paste it. Hit enter. So if this registration code, this API key is not in there, it's not going to be able to link to your pre-search account. So that's how it links to your account, right? Without that registration code, it don't know where it's linking to or to what account it's linking to. So it looks like everything went good. Um, so status, download newer image, latest, Docker, latest. Uh, image is up to date for pre-search node, latest. So what's going to happen is when you go back here, you see where the last one I set up was 44. So I'm going to refresh this. So now there's one there. So see, there's no description. So I'm going to modify the description. We're going to stake 4,000 pre-search. We're going to call this number 45, right? So pretty much just change it 45 and then whatever the, uh, the IP address is. That's where we're going to put that in. I like to put the IP address because that way it makes it easy for me to go back through all these emails and on the control panel um, and on the VPS website for Rack Nerds and figure out which one of these or which node it is that's acting up if I ever have any that do act up on me. Uh, it helps me to figure that out really quick from the control panel. Uh, if not, I have to go back and try to figure it out and do some searching. But you can look at the stats and it'll show you the IP address as well. But I just like to put it there. That way I can easily identify the node uh, and fix it really quickly. You know, because sometimes I don't have a lot of time. So we're going to hit update after we've put the 4,000 uh, for pre-staking and the rack nerd node 45, right? 100 and the IP address right there. Let's hit update. Looks like it took, and now we got 98,000 tokens staked. There's 20,000 left. Those are going to go to my other nodes. Um, so yeah, 44 is good. You got the green little plug, 
and that's another thing just always make sure you got your little green plug showing on there go through all your nodes I like to check them periodically because you'll notice you'll get these emails of when they jump on and offline so you want to make sure they're always running and the little green plug is a great way to know if it's online because if it's not there then it's not online uh, both of those defaulted to the US gateway the US 2 and that is the Ohio Gateway. California is the other one, the NAUS1, which makes sense because the nodes I bought were on the East Coast. So they're probably going to go to the Ohio Gateway, right? And some of them might go to the Euro Gateway, Germany, <clears throat> which is interesting to me if it does that. But I have a lot of them doing that. So it's interesting. So that's really... The, the main gist of it right I mean you got the connection we named it we set it up we staked our tokens that we sent from KuCoin to our pre-search nodes dashboard wallet uh, those showed up there I got 20,000 more I'm gonna stake on my other uh, VPS's once I get the docker installed and install the pre-search node package on each of the VPS's so that's really all I got for uh, this episode i just wanted to run through that um the main part was the docker installation on these vps's versus the other ones i did because docker was already installed on those but you are getting it at like half the price because docker is not installed on it so that's the perk to that i got links to everything in the description including the rack nerds vps you can go to uh, my website uh, at the deals and savings link that's intenseinvestor.com forward slash deals now these deals are good for black friday or up to black friday and you might get that mystery box also which takes even more off the price of the vps so definitely check that out and uh also i got links to kucoin and also pre-search pre-search link if you need an account you can set it up uh, as as a new user but uh that's really all i got for now uh you guys stay safe out there have a good thanksgiving if i don't talk to you again before then be sure to like and subscribe to the channel check me out on other social media and i'll talk to you later thank you